Why the hell did I pull Ancient Gear Factory from an Alexis Rhodes booster pack? This game makes no sense. So the people, I'm Mr. Nguyen, call me on page. And what you just saw earlier was actually a segment from Legacy of the Duelist, which was a video I wanted to do for Yugi Month, but I rejected it at the last minute because I recorded so much footage that I can't fit it all on the hard drive, plus the video was boring AF. So before I begin this video, I just want to acknowledge something that happened like oh, not too long ago. Um, when I posted the Problem News video, of course Chris commented on it and we argued back and forth in the comment section. So mm, before I get to the point of what I want to say, I'll start by defending some of the things that I said and refuting some of the things he said. Like, he said he didn't quit because the game was 8+, plus and it was actually because of the Link Summoning mechanic. I will admit that one of his reasons for quitting was the Link Summoning mechanic, but he also said he quit because it was 8+, plus, so that's wrong. And the part where I said you can use any cards that aren't on the ban list aside from um, Magic the Gathering where you have to play from the latest half block. That is true, but I forgot to accentuate on that with the fact that while MTG does have the modern format where you can play from a ban list like Yu-Gi-Oh! It doesn't really matter because everyone's playing the latest cards anyway. However... Given on that, some of the uh, people would say I'm wrong because no matter how old you play, everyone's using the latest cards and that's kind of the only way to win. But the difference is Yu-Gi-Oh! is more prone to reprinting old cards than Magic is. So if a card you need to complete your deck is unobtainable, chances are Yu-Gi-Oh! will hear your prayers and start reprinting it. And as far as him saying that he didn't like the game and he wanted to stay as far away from it as possible, he did say those words, but I think he was just either laughing at a video and saying it as a joke, or he was saying it because he was pissed off and wanted me to leave him alone. So, yeah, I don't really know if that's true. But another thing that I will admit I screwed up is when I said that you don't even have to give Link something a chance. It's excuse, it exists as a way of breaking OP strats so you can go back to playing old school. After playing Legacy of the Duelist, I realized that I'm a little bit off. Like, every generation of the game had an OP strat. When playing old school, Goat was the OP strat. But then with every new set of cards or every mechanic added or every rule change, they break the OP strats in a way. However, it does leave a window to be open for new OP strats to be created based on new rules. And while they are later broken by newer mechanics, rule changes, and card additions, it, they still keep making new ones. So, all in all, I just want to say I am sorry, Chris, for letting it get this far, and I... I already privately apologized to Chris, but I just want to make it known that I am officially apologizing to Cactus Chris, Golden Star Studios, for everything I put him through, everything I said, everything I did, and I hope he can come back for Yu-Gi Month, because I know we have our best times together playing Yu-Gi-Oh! But let's not dwell on depressing stuff, let's move on to the point of this video. We are playing Dungeon Dice Monsters on Game Boy Advance. That's a picture! Okay then. It's getting too loud. Let me just uh, turn it down. Uh, yeah, hopefully if you're lucky, I turned it down in post already, but that was like blaring in my ears. This is based off of a Yu-Gi-Oh! property that Konami hoped would take off by the time Duke Devlin talked about it in Yu-Gi-Oh! But neither the physical format nor this Game Boy Advance game had sold rather well, so now Yu-Gi-Oh! is trying to pretend it doesn't exist. But let's see how weird this game is. And as you can tell, I'm playing on an emulator because I don't own this game, but I am technically critiquing it, so it doesn't really matter. 
Also, um, it, even if I did own it, it would be impossible to record a legit GBA without some expensive modifications. Plus, you can't exactly use an Xbox controller on a GBA. Alright, let's start with the menu system. Dice pool is obviously your deck edit. Tournament, I think, is the campaign. Free duel is you're playing any opponent you want. Link duel is when you go up against another player via the link cable, which I can't do here because it's an emulator. Well, I could do that with land networking, but there's no one else here. Trade is essentially the same thing, except instead of battling, you're trading dice. And Grandpa Shop is a card purchaser. What sucks is that there's no option for like a tournament or just a settings menu. I guess I'll just figure it out as I go. I'll start with, um, I think I'll start with Free Duel. I can't pick a computer player. Either I'm playing an improper ROM or I have no idea what I'm doing. Grandpa Shop? Yes, what would you like? Okay, that doesn't help me. Um, Dice Pool? That just tells me what dice I have. Yeah, this is a weird thing. That's a weird thing about this Yu-Gi-Oh! property. Instead of cards, it uses dice. That already is weird, but let's see how weird the mechanics get. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try a tournament, because I don't have any computer players allowed for a free duel. Let's try Lunch Select Cup. And uh, who am I going up against? Or where am I, even? Oh, I'm the guy with the player icon. I'm going up against Lint Greendale, a weak-willed and docile classmate of Yugi. He idolizes American comic book superheroes. I wonder how he gets those comic books imported. I'm your opponent. I'll do the best I can. Let's have a good game. How oddly generic of you to say, but I like you anyway. Let's play your game. Alright, so this I think is the duel, is the die master, yes. You can take three direct attacks and then you die. Um, choose dice. Oh. Oh, you roll your dice. Every dice has like different crests on it. If you roll summon, you can summon the monster on it. Or, or if you roll the other crests, they're stored up. Your crests are used for movement, attack, guarding, magic, and trap. And the higher level the monster is, the less likely you are to summon it, from what I'm aware of. So I'll start with something average. Pumpkin is average, right? And then I'll also throw out a uh, Curse of Dragon. Oh wait, no. Hang on. I want to throw out something that I'm more likely to summon. If that makes any sense. Oh wait, no. The stars are summon points, right? Pumpkin only had two stars. Um, how many points does Curse of Dragon have? Two stars again. That's not gonna help me. I need something I can get out there. Aquamador. And then... A medical aid kit. Cause items. Go dice roll! what I roll? Oh, just more crests. I can't dimension or summon anything. What do I do? Press B, start, and turn. Okay, so how does he play the game? Oh. He didn't do anything. Um... I think I'll start by, like, changing out one of my monsters to a lower level so that I have a better chance of summoning it. If I sound like a noob at this, then don't blame me. It's this weird game. Uh, like, whoever made this game really didn't put much thought into it. And even if they did, like, it's like Pokemon. Like, you have to get it to get it. If you get it, good. If you don't, you have pretty dice to roll. Will I ever summon a monster? This is slower than a regular game of Yu-Gi-Oh! And I played Legacy of the Duelist. Oh, now he gets to summon a monster. And of course the dice are all shaped like weird Tetris pieces. Cause why not?
Um. Alright, I need to switch out my aid kit because I don't see what purpose an aid kit will have for me if I can't summon a monster. Um. 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 I don't even know what his monster has. Baby dragon? Dice roll! Okay, I got monsters I can summon. Oh, wait, no, I got summon crests piled up. I can't summon anything yet. So I guess you have to pile up summon crests to the point where you can summon monsters with a total of that level? I don't freaking know. I don't freaking know. So, in addition to attack points and defense points, each of these monsters also has a heart stat. Each heart represents 10 health points. Your monster's attack minus the opponent's monster's defense equals the amount of damage you can deal to that monster. And if the damage equals or exceeds that monster's health points, the monster is destroyed. And if you can get the monster all the way to the opponent's die master, then you can take away one of its life you can take away one of that die master's life points. Each die master has three life points. If you get your your if your die master's life is down to zero, you lose. I guess I'll start with three level ones since I have nothing better to do. Go dice roll! Okay. I rolled two summon crests. That means I can summon any one of those monsters. Uh so that's the point of the summon crest. You have to roll at least two of them in one roll to summon the monsters on them. I'll throw out Aquamador. Now I gotta figure out what this dimension crap means. I'll just dimension it this way. I know it looks like an inverted cross, but shut up. Can I move it? I'll move it over forward. Oh wait, how many move crests do I have? Select, start. I don't know what I'm doing. R, L. Oh, L. L tells me monster info. How do I check how many crests I have? Start, select, L, R, uh, B, A? Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to stop the turn here because I don't think I don't think moving it forward will help anything. Now, when you dimension a dice, the monster you summon has to be uh, the path has to be connected to either the space of your die master or the spaces that your monsters have already created. Oh, I gotta throw out more dice. Okay. And each dice has a level. To summon anything, a monster or an item of a particular level, you have to roll two of that level's crest. So me throwing out all different level materials earlier, I don't know if I did that, but if I did, that would make me look like a freaking idiot. So I'm just gonna throw out all level threes and hope something happens. Dice roll! I got more attack crests, not that it'll help me because I can't move. Uh. Well, <laughs> it's kind of amusing to think, like, th this game is so fundamentally broken and confusing, not even the computer player can figure this shit out. <laughs> this amuses me, and I don't know why. Go, dice roll! Am I even playing the game right? If you think I'm an idiot, let me know in the comment section below, and I won't feel bad about it, because, like, I'm pretty sure not many other people could get this game either. Either the physical form or the GBA form. I'm just gonna keep rolling those level twos until I summon something. 
Because that's how the game works. I screwed up. I don't know what to do. What does battle on me? Hey, how do you change the pattern? Is it L and R? Mm. You know what? I'm just gonna change some of these out. How can a level 2 be 10 attack and defense anyway? I'll change you to a giant flea. You to a killer needle. And you to a mushroom man. Because I need to get some monsters on the field. Dice roll! Finally, I can summon something. Honestly, I'm going to choose a giant flea and I want him to move forward. Oh! So you rotate with L and R. What happens if I press B? Oh, it takes me back to select. Can I press... Oh, select changes the form. That's helpful. Dimension to dice. And I guess I'll end my turn here. I'm doing good so far, I think. <sighs> Uh, I can just imagine, like, ev the, everyone at the dev team for, like, this game was, like, high on drugs, and there was, like, What the fuck is a dice monster? Um, medical aid kit, then I need the others to be level two as well. Alright, I got enough level 1s out, so I want to summon a level 2 to help me out. Let's see if any of these will roll for me. Well, that was the most retarded move I ever could make in my life. How many movement crests do I have again? Why was my move? Why was my move 1? Oh, I have 2 movement crests. So I have enough crests to move 1 monster forward 2 spaces. I don't see if that will be beneficial to me in any way. I need to roll more movement crests, clearly. So, I think on my next turn, I'm just going to pick random rolls just to get movement crests. I'll just throw dice... Throw? <laughs> throw and roll, throw. I'm just going to roll dice solely based on how many movement crests they have and see if that'll help me. Alright, um... Curse of Dragon. Um... Medical Aid Kit, and Mystic Horseman. That's the best I can do right now. Dice roll. I need, to move. I need to move. I got a movement crest, and I can spawn a med kit. I don't even know what the med kit does. But I can put a mystical horse, I can put a Mystic Horseman into play. I think I'll, think I'll do that. Now to figure out how to dimension the dice. Uh, this way. I don't even know if the path I'm building is the correct one, and I don't care. I don't even know what the magic and trap crests are for. Do I need them to activate the items? Set? Go? What does set or go mean? I don't know what the set mechanic is. I don't care if my choices are random. I want movement crests. I did not get a single movement crest. What the fuck? Uh, uh, how do you play this game? Has, hey, be honest in the comment section, please. Has anyone ever figured out the science to this game? Cause I sure as hell happens.
Oh yay, he summoned a monster. Good for him. Looks like he's playing defensively. Wait, do different monsters have different attack radiuses, or can they only attack the monsters next to them? Oh! So this narrows down your selection. Movement crest. And guard crest. That's what I want. Go dice roll. Oh, that's helpful. That is helpful to me. Now I have them for later. Now I just not. Now I just gotta figure out summoning a monster. Summoning a summoning summoning a monster. He activated a spell, and I have no idea what it does. Do any of my monsters have abilities? Why does I press R L? Oh. Ten increases by ten once a turn on attack. Or for one attack press. Okay. A medical aid kit restores two hearts to a monster. Curse of Dragon does nothing. I'll switch out my Curse of Dragon for another level two so that I can actually summon something. Hopefully Ryukishin doesn't come up on the roll. I just get more freaking crests. Might as well see what my other monsters do. What does Mystic Horseman do? For one spell crest, add damage to attack. Hey, okay, once per turn. Okay. Giant Flea does nothing. Aquamador, I guess, does nothing. Right. I guess I'm done. <coughs> It's becoming increasingly obvious that I have no idea how to play this game. I and like I don't know why I picked this. I guess I'm the only one that was brave enough to look stupid on the internet. Cause like anyone that plays this game on the internet's gonna look stupid unless they invested in enough time in learning how the game works or owns the original manual. Neither of which I do. Try rolling already. Alright, I got monsters to summon. I'll summon a Swamp Battle Guard. Now, how do I dimension this dice? Perfect. Now he's got to figure out a good attack strategy. What does he do? One attack crest raises his attack by 10 once a turn on attack. So 30, and I'll go up against the jellyfish? Wait, what's his attack range? Can I attack with him? Oh, I can only attack with him one space of him. So I'll move him two spaces up to that jellyfish, and then I'll attack the jellyfish. For two attack crests, I can give him a boost. Let's do it. Oh, he's gonna guard. Let's see what happens. I win! Or did I? Did I? And according to this 2D animation, I won! Somehow. I'm just gonna overpower this game with... Oh, I just lowered his HP. Let's do it again! Oh, I forgot. Attack minus guard. Oops. I am the stupidest player to ever exist. But luckily my defense is high enough that his monsters can't get past the battle guard unless they go around it. And even then, Horseman, Mystic Horseman's defense is like 20. And what does he do though? Adds damage to attack once per turn with one spell crest. I'll, I guess I'll advance him. Two, three, four, Four is good. Blocks my main entrances. Three. My attack crests are no concern to me. I need to move. So I'll go movement crests. 
And since I need spells later, I will... I will also say Magic Crest. Dice roll! Got some mismatch levels. I guess that's the downside of having an auto picker. Now listen closely! Jab! 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 Go, go, go! Yeah, funny thing about this, this game was only played once in the anime and never again. Was there a play in the manga though? I don't know that. Alright, let's see if I can do this. Oh, that helps me. Let's see if I can roll more moves. I got more moves. Now what can I do with those moves? I want to get closer to that Dice Master of his, so I'll move Swamp Battle Guard forward too. That may have been the stupidest move I've ever made in my entire life. I'm sorry if this video is just full of random boredom, stupidity, and self-doubt, but, like, that's how I feel about this game. Since I know nothing of Dungeon Dice Monsters, and I... And me as a child probably would have bought this solely on the Yu-Gi-Oh name alone, because I thought Dungeon Dice Monsters in the anime was cool. I would have bought this, thinking that I would be awesome at it. I wouldn't even bother to read the manual. I'd pick up this game, try my best strategies, not even know what the hell I'm doing in the slightest, and before I can even think about possible maneuvers I could do, I lose because I'm a because I'm a big old pile of sock. I'll start by attacking the Swamp Bell because she's getting in the way. She's dead. I need to advance on this monster. I need to advance toward the master, so I'll advance two spaces. I just need to move one more space and I can start attacking that die master. Uh, I think I'm putting on a guard crest though. So for the next roll I'm looking for movement crest and guard crest. Let's go die roll. I got some moves. So I will move one. And, uh, oops, not, not that. Attack the Die Master. One. And attack again. Oh, I can only attack once a turn with a monster? Yeah, I don't think I had damage would have helped anyway. At least I'm in a good position now, and turn. Oh, I think I'm gonna win. I have no idea how to play the game, but I'm winning. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright, time to set some more dice. Alright, don't you dare quit on me now, Swamp Battle Guard. I will fucking kill you if you die. Jab! Jab! One, two! Go, go, go! Jab! Jab! One, two! One, two! <laughs> I got another dice from that. Oh, the tournament's still going.